The Buffalo Sabres are proud to select from Winnipeg in the Western Hockey League, Matthew Savoy. And he follows his brother Carter to the NHL. Carter, of course, drafted with the fourth round pick by Edmonton a couple of years ago. Now, he had a shoulder injury in the WHL playoffs, but the one word I keep hearing whenever I've read anything about this guy, Matthew Savoy, is dynamic. Is that fair? He just pops. When he's out on the ice, and JB, you and I were at, at the CHL Top Prospects game, and every time he was out there, he was noticeable. He's got that great skating ability. He's got a good lower center of gravity. Some people would have been concerned about that size, but he's got that wide hockey frame, and so he's got a good, solid foundation. He he passes it like a pro. Watching him pass is like watching an NHL game. And maybe the underrated part of this game is his ability to shoot the puck. You talk to his teammates, Connor Geek, Connor McClennan. Oh, yeah, this guy can really shoot the puck as well. They're getting an array of forwards in Buffalo now. Tage Thompson, Chad Quinn, J.G. Paterka, Peyton Krebs, Casey Middlestead, Alex Tuck, Dylan Cousins. They are building an arsenal of forward power in Buffalo that is pretty scary. Absolutely. This kid has Braden Point upside. That's how good he is. I mean, he is electric off the rush. This is the type of player that sells tickets. He's going to bring people out of their seats in Buffalo. He's a dynamic offensive talent. There he is, the newest member of the Buffalo Sabres, and, and a smaller player, right, 5'9", 170, but again, the comparisons you guys just mentioned, incredible comparisons, and it's all about skill now in the league, not so much size. Yeah, and the thing about Savoy is he was given uh, concessions by the Western Hockey League to play 21 games as a 15-year-old. That really never happens. He wasn't granted exceptional status, but still made those concessions. And so he comes back the next year to Winnipeg. They're not sure if they're going to start. He makes a move to the USHL right away. Puts up 21 goals, 38 points in 34 games. And I think that was hugely key for his development because he got to play most of the year in his draft minus one year when a lot of guys didn't get that sort of regularity. Then he comes back to Winnipeg. 90 points this year is really telltale of what I think he can be in the future. I worked with Tyler Ennis this year in Ottawa, and I will tell you one thing. Tyler Ennis says, I work out with this kid, Matt Savoy. He says, man, oh, man, is he intense. Buffalo. Buckle up.